An alert tonight, a scam alert that is. Student debt scams are said to be posing a threat to the nation's next group of leaders. KIOWN's Taryn Mitchell takes a closer look at how this pandemic has been a contributing factor in hurting America's most recent college graduates. With former college students beginning their first jobs post undergrad, the one thing they need to do is start paying back those student loans. Only this time around, hackers may pose a threat to the payback. You know this old saying, if it's too good to be true, it's most likely is not true. That is the harsh reality for the world's incoming workforce group. Many former college students have started the process of paying back their student loans. But online hackers and fake telemarketers are finding new and innovative ways to finesse former students out of their money. And the scammers are on top of all of this. And as if the millennial age group wasn't on social media enough in 2021, popular apps like Instagram and Facebook are now listing ads for your lowest money guarantee on your student loans. But the scary reality is that it doesn't quite stop there. Emails and calls will find their way to you as well. These are scammers that are looking at uh, either reorganizing your debt, lowering it, give us some money uh, as a fee, and we'll take care of it for you and get the lowest possible amount. We'll, we maybe even get some of it waived. Just send us 100 bucks, maybe 200 bucks, and we'll get it all taken care of for you. And according to the Better Business Bureau, they have seen an uptick in these scams just in the past five years. The good news is sites like FTC.gov have your back to make sure loans are legit. It's something that would be very disheartening as a student just getting out of college and graduating. Seeing something like that would really take a toll on the bank. If you or someone you know has fallen victim to a student loan scam, you can file a complaint with your local Better Business Bureau. Reporting in the Digital Operations Center, Taryn Mitchell, KION News Channel 546.